I I want to go first class. I want to go like business class. No, I'm not book, but I'm book I'm cheapest. I'm economy, right? But I want to go on this tour on business class. So I here's what I'm thinking in my head, and you can advise me on this. I think a lot of the time, I think if you act like you're supposed to be somewhere, people just believe you're supposed to be there. So if you're a chancer and you have that look in your face, people see that straight I've away. seen it all. Right. Uh, you know, in Terminal 3, I used to see them all pull out all the stops. With, but I'll tell you, the one way to be fairly lucky in getting an upgrade is to, t- you know, most people get to the airport now about two hours before. You arrive about an hour or 45 minutes before departure. It's fight with America, though? Uh, yeah, well, it has to be a bit longer with America. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, but more or less at the last minute and come up to that. And, but you have to be dressed, of course. You have to have a suit on. Or what if I a, do that and then I don't get upgraded? I'm sitting in a column. Well, this is it. You see, this is the risk regular. you take. I mean, you could wear a jacket and, and chinos or something. And I mean, as long as you look presentable, don't turn up in a T-shirt or, or a cut Why off would shorts. I know you wouldn't do that. But, uh, but you know what I mean? You've got, you've got to find a fine line. Do you think I could talk my way into business class? You may be able to, yes, if you could charm the leaves off, off the trees or I think so. somebody. What about, here's what, here's what I was thinking. You know when you, when you walk on, I like to go on like, not last, but like towards the end because I don't get that, like why are we queuing when we've got pre-assigned seats? And if oh, it's that's a big true. Flight, I know, no, I don't like that either. I hate that. If it's like, if we've got a big, big flight, big plane, we'll have enough room for our bags anyway. So my seat is right at the back of the plane right at the back which gives me here's what I'm willing to compromise minimum I want my own row and I was looking at seat selector and I think there's enough spaces where I could do that so I booked myself the back row middle seat of a three right so no one's going middle to middle seat yeah but here's why no 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 let, hear me don't give me that look listen to this right you go yeah you go on and you select your seat okay you select your seat based on a map of what's available. But it's going available. to be full, full, full. It's not, because it wasn't last n- week. At the moment, yes. But that, it, it, when you get to the airport, it'll be bunged. It'll be bunged. I'm going to be Mark stuck. my words, it's going to be bunged. But Never pick a middle seat oh, ever. Sick. But my logic was no one will book either side of me. Oh, the will. Oh, the will. <laughs> Don't but, you worry. You'll have some dude, fat American slob <laughs> sitting because they are fat. But if I'm in the middle, that means I get the I get the. No, you armrests. don't because they they will be that big. <laughs> they're they'll be spilling over into your space. Yeah. And remember, they're not big wide seats in economies. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Shit. Always book an aisle seat. Oh, fuck. Can get can change it before you go. <laughs> You put the fear of God into me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just not going on the trip at all. No, 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 no. Do go, but get aisle seats. Right. 